Hello everyone. Welcome back to Must Love Labs. My name is Alan. On this channel we talk about tips and tools for how to raise, breed, and sell Labrador Retrievers as quality family pets. So if you're new here, you might consider subscribing. In today's video, we're going to talk about what to do when your six-week pregnant mama dog turns her nose up at her regular kibble and doesn't want to eat anymore. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's get into the content. So your mama dog has stopped eating because her nutritional requirements have changed. She's got puppies developing. So we're going to switch her over to puppy kibble with a healthy dose of chicken and rice to flavor it up and start giving her what she needs to make healthy puppies. Okay, so first things first, we've got to have some boiling water. Now these boneless, skinless chicken thighs are frozen solid. So as soon as I put them in here, the water's going to stop boiling again, but that's okay. We've got to start with some hot water. I'm going to go ahead and put four of them in here. Because we want to have plenty of chicken. There. That'll work. We'll use four, and once this comes back to a fast boil, which is going to be a, a few minutes because I just put frozen chicken in there, once this comes back to a boil, we're going to boil it for 10 minutes, and then we're going to put in a bag of rice. We're just going to lay it right down in there with it, and then let it boil for another 10 minutes. So that's the process. And what we're going to end up with is uh, some boiled chicken and some rice that's got chicken broth boiled into the flavoring. We'll put that away in the fridge, and, uh, and, and that will work um, when we add a dollop or two, a big spoonful or two, to Rosie's kibble when we're getting her to eat. And we're actually going to go ahead and use puppy food with her at this point because her dietary requirements have changed and she's no longer interested in regular kibble. Uh, she needs a little something extra for her puppies. So we're actually going to start go ahead and feeding the puppies through her by giving her what they need, which is in the puppy food. Uh, and and this will give her a big protein dose and some flavoring to make it interesting for her and different. Uh, and, and this is one of the things that we've found that really helps to um, keep Rosie eating when she gets pregnant. All right, we're coming up to a fast boil here. So we're going to go ahead and set the timer for 10 minutes. And now in 10 minutes time, we're actually going to boil these for 20 minutes. But 10 minutes from now, we're going to put in a bag of this and then let it go for another 10, and then it'll be done. Hey folks, if you're getting value from this video, do us a favor and hit that like button. It sure does help out quite a bit. And if you want to support our channel, we've got a Teespring store. I'll put a link in the description. You can stop by and check out a t-shirt or a coffee mug, and thanks in advance for doing that. We also put links in the descriptions to our videos for pet products that we use and approve of here at Must Love Labs. So feel free to check those out as well. All right, that's 10 minutes. So now, we're gonna put in a bag of this. Just put it right in there with it. And go for another 10 minutes. And then it'll be done. Okay, this is done. It's been 10 minutes. We're going to go ahead and shut that off. 
let it calm down. I'm going to take the chicken out. I'm going to leave the rice in. I need this chicken to go ahead and cool down so I can cut it up. I went ahead and put it all in there. I know I started out with four pieces and there was like a piece and a half left or whatever. It was a three pound package. And I thought, well, what am I going to do with that? So we just, I decided to go ahead and cook it all. Okay. And we're going to leave the rice in there. And it can sit there and continue to absorb that chicken broth. Once our chicken cools down, we'll cut it up. And we'll get it in a bowl and then we'll add in the rice. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to cool down, I'm going to show you the other thing that we feed Rosie when she's no longer eating her regular kibble. Twice a day, we'll give her access to a full bowl of kibble, uh, and she usually eats it, but uh, as the puppies take up more and more space in her stomach, and she eats smaller and smaller meals, you got to feed her more frequently. And for something inexpensive and easy to give her in between meals that's extremely healthy hard-boiled eggs mm -hmm. they're cheap and they're easy we all know how to hard boil eggs and you can just keep you can you can boil up a bunch of them and keep them in the fridge and Rosie gets one in between meals so she'll get one uh, after breakfast in the morning but before lunch and another one mid-afternoon but before dinner that kind of thing you get the you get the point hard-boiled eggs uh, you almost can't give them too many of these and uh, easily two a day, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. And, and this is a, a great way to tide her over in between meals because she needs small high protein meals uh, while she's making puppies. Uh, so when she, when you, and you'll know when it happens because she won't want her regular kibble anymore. And you think, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Well, this is what you do, I'm showing you. Or, or one of the ways, you can get creative with it and do some other things. But uh, remember, I, I talk about what we do here at Must Love Labs. And uh, this works out great for us. Okay, while we're waiting for that chicken to cool, I'm going to show you something else that I wanted to talk to you about. If you've got a pregnant, pregnant mama dog, you need to get her on a calcium supplement. Okay, this is the one that I'm using. Dr. Roy's Healthy Bones Calcium Phosphorus Supplements. They're the only ones that I've been able to find uh, that, that, are, that are, get the job done, but they're price conscious. There's a lot of stuff out there, and most of it is just super expensive. And I'm just, I'm looking around and I'm thinking, really? Is it that expensive to have my dog on a calcium supplement? And the next thing is uh, getting something that you can afford, obviously, but also something that you can feed your dog. Um, and these are the ones that I ended up with. And I, I've tried several, and the, these are price competitive. I'll put a link in the description to these. You can get them right on Amazon and just have them brought straight to your house. Same as with the puppy food that I feed, by the way. It's all on Amazon. And if you have a Prime account, you don't even pay shipping. It's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I get my, my, my Rosie here or any of my dogs to eat a calcium supplement. Uh, we, we call it our magic peanut butter or ham log. <laughs> I just kind of made that up. But here's what you do. It starts off with... Uh, the first thing you got to do is, is crush a couple of these up. And uh, oddly enough, I've got a couple of dogs that will eat these without even crushing them up. Um, but anyways, they're not that hard. And you can just smash them down with a spoon and uh, powder them. Just crush on it for a minute there. And get them into a powder. There, that's good enough. And just have that standing by. And now, I'm going to take some Peter Pan Honey Roast Peanut Butter. 
which Labradors love, by the way, along with us. And I'm literally going to paint a piece of ham with peanut butter. Pretty crazy, huh? I'm telling you something. This works if you need to get your dog to eat something and you don't want to have to, you know, rustle with them over it. There's lots of different ways to do things. But this works for us just fine. So I'll literally paint the piece of peanut butter, uh, paint a piece of ham with some peanut butter. And I get some too. Push it off into the spoon. And then we're going to sprinkle it on there. Right into the peanut butter. Right down the middle. And then we're going to roll it up. Just like that. So now we got a peanut butter ham log with calcium phosphorus tablets in it. How cool is that? And watch this. Rosie, would you like to eat that? That's a good girl. Good girl. Okay, so we're cutting up some chicken now. And this is about the texture you want to get it down to because we're going to be mixing it in a bowl with rice and then later mixing that with kibble. So nothing too ceremonious here. We're just going to cut it all up as small as we can, get it down to kind of like burger, if you will, or if you were going to make chicken salad or something. That's about the the size that we're looking for. If you leave a chunk or two here and there, it's not a big deal. Just remember that you're going to be blending it with rice and kibble. And a little bit of chicken, chicken broth. We'll mix some of that broth back in with it too so that we can get it kind of in its own gravy, if you will, except the, it's broth, obviously. So about like that, and we're just going to keep going until we get it all done. And we'll have three pounds of boiled chicken. Okay, so we've got the last of our chicken cut up nice and small. Three pounds of boiled chicken here now. And now what we're going to do is go into this pot and get this bag of rice. Remember the bag of rice we were boiling? Yep, it's been sitting over there while the chicken was cooling off. It's been sitting over there uh, soaking up that broth. So the, the rice has basically been boiled in chicken broth at this point for the last 10 minutes of the 20 minutes that we boiled the chicken. So now this rice is ready. Gonna mix all that up. And you might think, well, Al, why are you doing that with rice? Um, it's good fiber for the dogs. You probably heard of giving dogs chicken and rice before, or beef and rice, or pork and rice. It's almost always a, an and rice, and it's because it's good for them. We use the, the whole grain rice. 
and it keeps their stools moving along as you say it's it's a source of fiber for them kind of like us eating an apple every day if you've got a dog that uh, maybe gets a little plugged up this is an option a lot of people use pumpkin and whatnot and all that works fine too to get them straightened out but this this chicken and rice regimen works great for pregnant mama dogs uh, I can't think of a worse time for a mama dog to get stopped up uh, than when she's pregnant. She's running out of room in her plumbing down there anyways. So things need to keep moving along and rice helps that happen. Uh, plus it's just good for them and it tastes good and so is the chicken. And this is a super healthy way to get them reinterested in kibble because you need them to be on kibble. Her nose is telling her to find something different because she's pregnant and her nutritional needs have changed. And so we're gonna use this that I just prepared uh, to uh, mix with puppy food. And that's the next thing I wanted to talk to you about. So we use IAM's puppy food here. We actually use IAM's adult dog food too. But people have asked me, what do I feed my puppies? And this is what I feed my puppies. And we're actually going to start feeding the puppies while they're still in the mom, in the mama dog. She's six weeks pregnant right now, and she's turned her nose up at regular kibble, the regular IAM's adult dog food that I feed them. Um, and I'll put links in the descriptions to this video to the puppy food and the adult dog food that we use and approve of here at Must Love Labs. But this is the puppy food right here, IAM's. It's got everything in it that puppies need, or most of what they need anyways. And this is what the mama dog is craving. This is why she's turning her nose up at her regular kibble. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start feeding the puppy food to her now. Uh, so she can be feeding it to her puppies. Her puppies can start getting what they need while they're still inside the mama dog. And then later we'll transition them onto this uh, through the, the mash process, which I talk about in a different video. But anyways, uh, I use the small kibble. I don't like the uh, the large breed food, it's too big. Um, I want her, Rosie, to have no problem, or any mama dog, to have no problem eating and digesting this. Uh, and then later, of course, when you're moving puppies onto it, it's nice and small for them. So um, this is the one that I use. This is the, the medium dog kibble, not the, large, not the large breed kibble. It comes in 15 pound bags. I wish I could get it in a 30 pound bag. But every time you look at that, they want to move you over to the large breed of food, and that's not what I want. Uh, so if you just remember that picture of that little beagle, you'll be on the right one. And it's the chicken and rice, or excuse me, the chicken and whole grains recipe. Uh, that's what that is. And obviously we're going to add some more chicken and some, uh, some whole grains to it. So when we get ready to, to give Rosie a meal, I'll bring some of this out of the fridge. And here's a serving of her dog food. And I'll take a spoon or two of this chicken and rice that we just made. And I'll mix that right in. Now it's going to be coming out of the refrigerator. So we'll add a little, you'll, you'll, you'll want to put it in the microwave and, and warm it up a little bit. And, um, to get this good and juicy, we can go ahead and and um, bring in a little bit of this broth too. We'll mix some of that broth right in there with it. You want it to be almost kind of like a, a gravy so that it mixes well with the kibble. And if this starts to dry out, you can just add some water to it throughout the week. If, if you know, because the rice is going to continue to absorb moisture. And if it starts drying out, you can just add some water to it. Uh, or if you want to, you can save some of that chicken broth and add that to it. And the adult dogs love this stuff too, by the way. You can add this to their regular kibble and just watch it disappear. And we'll put a little bit of that in there too, because I didn't do it before I added it to Rosie's food. So you see what's going on. We got puppy kibble for a pregnant mama dog at six weeks. She's six weeks pregnant now. She's going to have puppies at nine weeks because it's a nine week gestation period. 
and she starts turning her nose up at regular kibble. And this is one of the things that we do here at Must Love Labs to keep them eating because you got to keep mama dog eating. We've got this, we've got the hard boiled eggs that we talk about. You can always give them a piece of lunch meat too, by the way, as long as it's not loaded with preservatives. Same as that piece of ham that I used to, uh, to doctor up her, her, um, her phosphorus tablet. That works fine too. So you start getting creative on getting mama dog to eat. Uh, the first time that that happened to me and mom and dog stopped eating, I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> what do I do now, right? Uh, so yeah, you just, you have to improvise and adapt and start learning about things. Uh, as far as this Iams puppy food goes, uh, I got to tell you, um, I've done a lot of different puppy foods, a lot of different dog foods in general. Um, Iams, people say, why do I use Iams? Well, it's top shelf food for one thing. These guys started making dog food in the 1940s. A lot of people don't know that. They've been around a long time. You don't do something for 70, 75 years without getting good at it. You know what I'm saying? If, if their food was that bad, the market would have done away with them a long time ago. Uh, so they've got a good top shelf food that they've been working on for decades, which I love. And they've kept it price competitive. The price didn't soar like some of the other ones. The price points are still lower than a lot of their competitors with the same caliber of food. So when you hear me say that I'm's puppy food, I believe gives you uh, not just I'm's puppy, but the adult dog food, uh, dog food too, it gives you the best bang for your buck as far as kibble goes. That's what I'm talking about. I've tried a lot of different things. Uh, these guys, this, this food works for me. Um, and it's affordable. It doesn't break the bank and it's high quality food that they've been working on for decades. Uh, so I use it here at Must Love Labs. I approve of it. And uh, you might want to check it out. I'll put links in the descriptions to the video. You can go and get some. They'll bring it straight to your door. If you've got a Prime account, it won't even cost you any shipping. Anyways, that's enough about that. Let's see if Rosie wants to eat what we made. Now there's a dog that turned her nose up with her regular kibble just the other day and insisted on something else. And I just showed it to you. I hope that works out for you. Well, that wraps up our video on what to do when mama dog starts turning her nose up at her regular food. I hope you got value from this video. Do us a favor and smash that like button. And you might consider subscribing to our channel as we will be discussing this topic and others in the future. And thanks as always for stopping in to Must Love Labs. We'll see you in the next video.